Ex-Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll was held in contempt of court and sentenced to 60 days in, much like the TV show. I don't usually celebrate any man being thrown in a cage, but this is exceptionally satisfying because Jamie Knoll is actually the sheriff who started the A&E series 60 Days In, a series in which Mr. Knoll showcased people's worst moments in their life on national television. This show entailed recording inmates and undercover police in jail and then sending that footage to a national news station. Well now, Jamie is getting a taste of his own medicine. Let's see this story. HS 11's Travis Breeze was there watching it all unfold when Judge Larry Medlock slammed his gavel and sent Noel back to jail again. Travis? Doug and Shay, it was an emotional final ruling from Judge Medlock. He said he considered the definition of willful intent to disobey a court order, but he said it was Noel's ultimate responsibility to make sure that his bond conditions were upheld and no one else's responsibility. He said Noel is not above the law and he wanted him to have consequences for his actions. So let's go over what was this contempt of court violation. The violation was state police finding two semi-automatic handguns in his basement on March 13th after he was ordered to turn over all firearms except a shotgun. Knowles attorney Jim Boyles tried to argue it was an honest mistake and then, or, and that Noel made every attempt to turn over all guns, but he and the two men who gathered up his guns just simply missed the two Smith & Weston semi-automatic pistols. State prosecutor Rick Hurdle said regardless, Noel had 125 days between the, his arrest and his bond conditions being set on November 9th and the search warrant on March 13th, when he could have potentially, you know, done a once over on the home and made sure that every all of the firearms were taken. And he said that the court should take note that Noel did not do that in those 125 days. So Judge Medlock sentenced Noel to 60 days in jail. We don't know right now if that's going to be at the Scott County Jail where um, Misty Noel was previously held, but Special Prosecutor Hurdle said uh, he knows it will not be the Clark County Jail. Uh, Mr. Hurdle also said he thinks that when Jamie gets out, he will have the same bond conditions. And we also said, are you sure that the trial will not be within 60 days? And he said, yes, it's everyone's understanding that the trial date will be longer than 60 days. For now, live in Jeffersonville, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11 on your side. His charges are as follows. Seven level five felony theft charges, three level six felony theft charges, five level six felony tax evasion charges, four official misconduct felony six charges, and four level six charges of ghost employment, along with one obstruction of justice charge, another level six felony, and one corrupt business influence charge, a level six felony totaling 25 felony charges for the former sheriff. I wanna make it clear to everybody that I do not advocate for anybody to be punished through a governmental system, but Mr. Jamie Knoll ran for a public office. He won and took an oath swearing to uphold the constitution and to execute his duties faithfully. I also want to make it clear that Mr. Knoll is presumed innocent until proven guilty but I want to show you an example of what the Clark County Sheriff's Department was doing under Mr. Knoll's direction. On the night of September 30th, 2020, for public safety, who we will address as FPS and his girlfriend, official misconduct, who we will now call OM, were at their home in Clark County, Indiana, when out of nowhere, they heard loud banging at their door. OM grabbed her phone and started recording while FPS tried to open the door. The only useful part of this footage is the audio, though it still may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. At this point in time, neither of the victims know why the armed terrorists have broken into their house, nor why they are beating the hell out of for public safety and have just broken official misconduct's back.
<laughs> Why are there so many cops here? <laughs> you got somebody else up there? Is anybody else in the house? No, nobody else in the house. My baby, my puppy, and my two kids. Is in the house. Oh, oh, there are any kids in the house? I am. Listen, is there any kids in the house? No. No other people in the house. It's your dog. Is my your, dog. Your, your, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is your dog aggressive? He doesn't. <laughs> we had him for a week, so I don't know how he's going to do with new people. Is there a pit bull? Is there a pit bull? about this? Can we bring him out here? Can we do that? Can I please calm down for a second, and I'll get him in his harness, and I'll bring him out here. I just, I need my shoes, and my back is fractured, okay? So I need just a minute, okay, guys? After hours of turning the house upside down, the police on scene started yelling at FPS and OM, saying, where are the drugs? When the police realized there were no drugs, they finally released OM and FPS from detention. It was obvious they were the victim of a drug raid. Which brings us to the issue of corruption in this video. Sheriff Jamie Noel of the Clark County Sheriff's Department was a big part of the series 60 Days In and is also set to be the sheriff of the 60 Day spinoff series known as Narcoland. Have for public safety and official misconduct been the victims of his latest attempt to make an episode for his TV show? I cannot say for sure, but seeing as they found no drugs on for public safety or official misconduct, it raises suspicion. After this incident occurred, for public safety and official misconduct were at the prosecutor's office in Clark County. They were trying to deal with a completely unrelated legal issue. When the prosecutor realized who they were and that they had an open case against the county, he immediately called in 12 elephant-sized men with guns that were dressed in clown costumes to remove and trespass these two American citizens from an office they helped pay for after getting services that they helped pay for refused to them. This is a recording of them being trespassed. We're Americans. We have rights. And all we are doing is making an appointment with our public official for lawful business. You're trespassed from here, both of you. No, we're not. If you have any problems, you can contact the prosecutor's office. That's what we were doing because of an unlawful trespass. Can phone. you de-escalate, please? No. I don't have to use the phone to exercise my constant. You guys are dismissed. You're dismissed. As you can see, FPS and OM were trespassed from this building. This single building consists of the prosecutor's office, courthouse, and sheriff's department. Knowing that they were trespassed, FPS continuously tried to contact the prosecutor and sheriff's department to find out how he was able to receive access to the public services he pays for. What we are about to listen to now is a phone call between For Public Safety and IA Director Randy Thomas with the Clark County Sheriff's Department. For Public Safety is trying to receive the names and badge numbers of the individuals responsible for trespassing him from the county building. Here's what I'm going to tell you today, Mr. Reader. Um, as far as your issue with Colonel Meyer and the other officers present is considered, it's closed by this agency, your grievance. Um, there's no Indiana law that requires an officer to provide his name and badge number. Um, we're not identifying persons or officers in a video you recorded. Um, you have been trespassed from the Clark County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, if you have any new business or legal business at the courthouse, you're able to enter the courthouse freely. If you do go to the prosecutor's office, however, you will be escorted. Um, we'll contact them to make sure that um, it's okay to bring you up there, but you have the legal right to do business in the courthouse. Um, also, if... Uh, if you need police services at any time, you can contact Central Dispatch at 812-246-6996. Um, as far as any further communications to this agency and its officers regarding your video recording or trespass from the prosecutor's office, uh, we're going to be considering it harassment from this point forward. And if the harassment continues, criminal charges will be pursued because you've called here numerous times 
Um, and I, I understand you might not receive the answers you want to. Your- hey, hold on. You better pause right there. So at first, Randy Thomas says that if he wants to go to the prosecutor's office, he will need to be escorted by a sheriff's department employee. If you do go to the prosecutor's office, however, you will be escorted. Then, directly after, he says that if he contacts the sheriff's department any more regarding his trespass and therefore his need to be escorted, he will have criminal charges of harassment filed against him. As far as any further communication to this agency and its officers regarding your video recording or trespass from the prosecutor's office, uh, we're going to be considering it harassment from this point forward. And if the harassment continues, criminal charges will be pursued. So, everyone, that's Clark County, Indiana for you. The sheriff, Jamie Noel, will have armed thugs break into your house, beat you up, and break your spine for content for his failing TV show. Then, when he doesn't get any content, he will refuse services to you, trespass you illegally, and threaten to press charges when you bother to ask Jamie to do his job. This attack on for public safety and official misconduct serves as a catalyst for these two newly dubbed citizen journalists to investigate the former sheriff and a few of his employees. We here at the Henry Channel were also asking questions with regards to the ex-sheriff's potential corruption. What for public safety and official misconduct uncovered ultimately helped the state of Indiana prosecute this allegedly corrupt and absolutely immoral agent of tyranny. The links to their channels will be in the description below. Make sure to tell them Henry sent you. We'll see you in the next one. If you want to help this channel and yourself, you need the My Bamboo banking app. This banking app has tons of features, such as Zelle compatibility, international transfers, and the insurance marketplace, which helps you find insurance for anything from your phone to your car. When you download with our link, we get $15 that will go towards legal fees and you will receive a slick debit card for free that looks like this. When you download, take a screenshot of the finished screen and we will enter your name into a raffle. The winner of that raffle will receive one of our revamped hide behind the bad shirts completely free. Just make sure that when you sign up, you take a screenshot of the finished screen and send it to us on our Gmail, ch and tie audits. Now let's get back into the video.